One of the first boarders she got was a fellow by the name of Matthew, who was a brick mason. And his house had been destroyed in a hurricane uh, that came and, and demolished much of Tybee Island. Now, Matthew was a uh, hardworking, laboring class gentleman and uh, decides that he is going to help pay for his room and board by performing various tasks around Foley House. Shortly thereafter, Mrs. Foley takes in another boarder, a well-to-do man who seems to have no other visible means of support other than his family wealth. But he made her uneasy. She was having uh, apprehensions about being alone with him. He seemed to be a nice enough guy, but she was uneasy around this fellow. Uh, a lot of people call him Wally. And he moves into Foley House and shortly thereafter develops an interest in Honora Foley. This interest in her is something that is unwelcome. She's not interested in the gentleman. And one night, she awakens to find someone in her room. And uh, while she was trying to figure out if there really was somebody in there, suddenly she felt something holding her down in her bed. Somebody had come in and was attacking her. And she reaches for the nearest object on her bedside table, picking up a candlestick and hitting him in the head, killing him. She got the candle lit, and suddenly she realized there was Wally on the floor. She had hit him right in the temple, and he had, had been killed instantly. Well, she had a, a horrible problem, because here she was, a single woman, and she had a dead body 